learned some math? Yay! Okay, so let's review some of the things that we learned last time. So what did we discuss um, last class time? Congruent shapes? Yes, there you go. Congruent shapes. Okay, congruent shapes. So what are congruent shapes? Can anybody tell me? Kevin? Same shapes. Same shapes and? Same size. Same size, correct. So based on that, are these shapes? No, I'm facing here. Are they congruent? Yes. What about these shapes? Yes. Okay. So draw two circles. This one and this one. Are they congruent? Yes. Are they the same shape? Yes. Are they the same size? No. Okay. So then these are not congruent. So you guys are doing pretty good with congruent shapes. Now we're going to move on to a new topic. We're going to learn something new today, okay? I want you all to put on your little thinking hats and we're going to have our thinking time. Yay! Okay, so like always, I'm going to pass out your little thinking time answer sheets and you're going to have two minutes to think, three minutes to write down the answer here and two minutes to discuss with your buddies about what you wrote on your answer sheet, okay? So the question for this thinking time is gonna be, have you ever heard of the word symmetry? Okay, so let me pass this one out. Here you go, Kevin. Nice! Here you go, Tina. Here you go, Carlito. Thinking time is over. Everybody pass your papers to the right and give it to Kevin and then you give them to me, okay? Okay. Ready? Thank you, Kevin. So, um, let's take a look at some of your answers. I'm going to look at two, okay? And don't worry, because these don't have your name, so it's okay. Okay, so I got when a shape has all equal sides. So, you think symmetry means when a shape has all equal sides? Hmm. Okay, let's see the other answer. When two shapes are the same. So... Let's think about that for a minute. Okay. So when you have two shapes that are the same, they are congruent. So that they have this. Okay, but now let's try pasting them together. So what if I put it like this? They make a new shape, right? Yeah, it's a square. It's a square, yeah. So these two same shapes, congruent shapes, you put them together and they make a new shape. And you can see that this line is half of the shape, right? Yes. So then, so then this line that cuts the shape in half is called your line of symmetry. Now that we know what this means, we can start our activity. And I'm going to need everyone to cut out these shapes that are right here. So let's take a minute to do that, okay? Okay. okay. Is everyone done? Yes! Yes? Now what I want you to do with your symmetrical shapes, get the square that's right here. And you can see that the line is in the middle. So this is going to be an example of what you're going to be doing. I want you to fold them in half. So if you fold it like this, you get half. And then you're going to mark that little line that's right there. Okay, so the other shapes, they're not going to have the line for you. This is just to show you how it's supposed to look like. Whenever you get the other shapes, so we are use this uh, triangle as an example, you want to fold it in half. 
and continue drawing the line. Yes? Okay. Okay. 